Hi, my name is Alex, CTO at RentCentric, and for the next few minutes I'll be showing you how to manage your rental rates. In order to manage your rates, you can simply click on Administration on top, menu bar, click on Rental Rates, and from here you can search for your existing rates by entering the rate code, vehicle type, calculation type, or any other information you might have, or look at your existing rates in the system and also you can click on add new to add a brand new rate. The rate setup page is split into two different tabs, basic and advanced, which basic allows you to put in essential rate information to quickly add a rate to the system, or you can go to advanced tab for more advanced features. We can start by entering the rate name or the rate code, special rate we can call it, uh, the vehicle type, you can simply click on all to add it to all the vehicle types or you can pick and choose which vehicle types this rate will apply to. You can enter your daily rate, you can enter $30 and the weekly and monthly will populate automatically and you can enter the mileage allowed per day and it will automatically populate the weekly and monthly and I entered zero for unlimited, you can also enter one for mileage only rental or you can just simply enter the mileage that you would like to allow the client to drive the vehicle uh, on a daily, weekly, and the monthly basis. You can also say this rate is available online on your online reservation website and also check on the value pricing for the rate to switch from daily to weekly and from weekly to monthly automatically. Now we can move to advanced setup. You can change the calculation method of this rate by changing from 24 hour to calendar day or flat. 24 hours is the standard calculation method uh, for any rental rate. Every 24 hour is considered a day. You can change it to calendar day, which by every calendar day change, it will bring up a new rental day or just simply flat to have a flat rate for the duration of the rental. So we'll select 24 hour. Now you can have your rate type as the standard rate type. You can set up a multi-day rate, for example, a three-day multi-day, which means if you have a multi-day rate that is cheaper than your standard rate, you can simply select the three-day multi-day, or you can actually specify a minimum and maximum range for the multi-day, which means uh, you can have a rate from seven days to 14 days, and you can just simply click on the min and max days and enter seven, two, 14 in these two boxes. You can also select flat rate, which means the rate is flat for the duration of the rental. For example, three day flat, you can enter $100 and the rate will be calculated for the total of $100 for the three day rental. You can also uh, select a weekend rate and by selecting the weekend rate, you can simply say the customer is able to pick up the vehicle Friday at a specific time, let's say 10 a.m. all the way to Monday at 2 p.m. and this will be the range of your weekend rate. You can have also the rate to be effective, uh, let's say for a season or for a duration. For example, if the rate uh, kicks in in April to uh, September, you can simply change that information here. Also, you can have the rate available on specific days of the week. For example, you can say this rate is only available from Monday to Friday and not on the weekend and you can simply specify that information here. Uh, at the bottom, you're able to say uh, how much the hourly rate would be if the customer is late. You can also specify the extra daily rate, which means if the customer is late, for example, they were supposed to bring back the car after three days, but they came back after four days, you can specify uh, the extra daily rate to be a little bit higher. You can also say uh, what's the extra mileage charge, what's the fuel charge, and what is the grace minute, which means um, uh, if the customer is late for an hour or so, uh, you can specify uh, a grace minute not to charge the customer for any extra additional amount.